Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at replacing the SSD in a Lenovo Yoga 700 11.6 inch laptop. Um, this is one of the foldy round screen models, hence the name Yoga, and it should be a fairly simple process here. So to start off with we have our Torx T5 bit screwdriver, and we are just going to go around the base of the laptop, removing the screws from it. Now the service manual for this laptop is available for the, um, from the Lenovo website, which does detail the process. It's a pretty simple process. Um, and while this laptop, unlike some of the Yoga models, uh, the lower spec ones come with mechanical hard drives, this particular one comes with 128 gig. Uh, SSD, however that's a little small for the use that we want this machine for so we are swapping in one of the SanDisk X400 uh, M2 2280 SSDs. That's a SATA SSD not a PCI Express one. Um, personally, I first of all I don't know if the slot in this will take a PCI Express M2 SSD I will look at the keying to see on that, but also I don't think there's, um, there's while the theoretical performance improvements are quite high, um, from what I've seen on Anantech and other places, real world benefits are fairly marginal and you do tend to see sort of higher power consumption as well if you're actually attaining those high throughputs. So because this is a core M3 laptop as well, you're not really going to be you know, pushing the performance envelope with it. So all those screws in the base appear to be the same. So with those screws removed, we're now going to find our plastic pry tool and we are going to go around and try and find a opening to separate off the base here. So that corner there is managed to slip in and now we're going to run along the front bit of resistance there, that's interesting. As always the service manual just says take out the screws and lift off the base, it doesn't really... Uh... So there we go, running along that side has separated that. So we come to the back and now we can just... And having turned it round now and I've run along this side, along the back, and then I should just be able to lift And it's, there we go, it's actually just a case of being a bit more confident and pulling it up there it appears. And this is the insides of the laptop. Um, there really isn't a lot accessible in here. Um, memory is soldered down, so our 8 gigs of memory here. We can change the wireless card but we've got no need to today. And we are going to go to a crosshead to release the SSD. So by undoing this single screw here now, we can slot out the SSD. Now I'm just going to take a look. Now it does look like this is keyed in such a way where you could put a PCI Express um, card into it. There, unlike the um, unlike the UX 305 CA that I have, it doesn't have the uh, double keying which prevented that. And no, I think we were right the first time. So if we slot in the new SSD now, replace the single screw. And now we simply need to take the base press it back in once it's lined up just lightly clip it back together And with that done, all that's left to do is go back to that Torx T5 head and refit the screws into the base. 
So now we're just refitting these screws into the base. Uh, the trickiest bit here was actually just having a little bit of confidence to just pull that base to unclip it. It's always when you're doing this for the first time you're always perhaps a little bit too delicate um, but it just needed basically getting a, the pry, pry tool in there and then actually just having the confidence to pull it up and out. I hope you found this video useful and um, be sure to subscribe if you would like to see more from us in the future and uh, yeah like this video if you found it useful. Thanks for watching.